What's the deal? It's your boy DJ Hot Sauce. Another edition of the Local Artist Spotlight. We got the homies Streets and Young Deuces in the building. And uh, we're going to go talk to him for a second, all right? Let's go. Yep. What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy DJ Hot Sauce in the building. Got Streets and Young Deuces in here, man. This is how we do uh, it's what we call the uh, Local Artist Spotlight. It's our third edition. How y'all doing, man? Doing great, man. It's the same old, same old, man. Yes, indeed, man. Glad to have y'all in the building, finally. Yeah. So what's been happening with you, man? Man, we've just been, um, you know, working on this mixtape, you know, trying to get, you know, things, you know, all squared off with this. We're pretty much done with it, just wrapping up some last-minute features. All right. And, you know, it goes to the mixing process, and then, you know, we just... We just um, picked up the date, so you know, we figured out the date that we were going to drop it. We're going to okay. drop it uh, March 20th, so you know, you got it first. Thank March you. March 20th is when we're actually <laughs> dropping it. So, yeah. yeah. All right, so, so I heard, I heard y'all been on the road, man. Yeah, man, we, uh, <clears throat> we, we've been blessed, man, to be able to, you know, get fans outside of the city. You know, like, we, we could travel and we could actually do shows and actually get money for it. Okay. You know, outside of Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? So, we've we, we been in the road, man. We're going to actually hit the road a little bit harder. You know, like I'm a little co uh, college promo tour for the next day, Air Max type, whatever. We're putting that all together, you know. So, you know, we're just doing that, man. Just getting everything squared away. All right. Now, do y'all do y'all think it's easier for a group to get on as far as, like, you know, trying to get on and, and like, do your thing rather than, like, going solo, like, separate? Um, I, it's definitely harder. <laughs> you got to think of, I mean, I mean if you look, you look at the trend, I mean, um, groups really don't, I mean, haven't really emerged too much um, as far as, I mean, before then, it was you know Clips probably the last group that did numbers or you know that yeah. did uh, had a big following. Right now, um, the um, LEP Bogus Boys they're doing pretty good you know yeah. as a group collectively. Yeah. Um, you know uh, Travis Porter down there you know they doing their thing. But as far as that, I mean you know as far as groups goes, it's like it's harder for a group because you got to think you know I mean it's different personalities and I'm, I mean you're pretty sure probably understand that probably labels probably look at that and. And you know, looking at versus looking at one talent they can work and groom on. You know, sometimes yeah. they, they may have the groups that uh, you know one artist is you know maybe developed a little bit more than other artists. So it's just, it's a lot more that they probably have to deal with. They look into, you know, yeah, that's that true. they got to look into with a group. So I mean, I definitely say it is harder. Yeah. So so what made y'all come together as a group and say, you know what, we're gonna do this together instead of going separate? Well, uh, one of the things is me and me and dude actually are family, we cousins. Okay. So you know what I'm saying. Uh, his dad used to do rap music. He was always around him. We both was kind of always around him kind of thing. And we we did the solo thing. We had our own kind of crews, things like that, whatever. And then we just finally came together. He had a home studio at his crib. We were just working, working, working. We just like, dog, why don't we just become a, become a group? You know what I'm saying? And okay. Working. And shit, you know? We've been rocking like that for what, like, so 13 years. Yeah. yeah That's what's like, up. So how, how would you okay. describe your style as far as like, well, actually, no, no, no. We're going to back up a little bit. What would you say your musical influence would be? Um, I don't know. I mean, my uh, my personal music influence is just more of the city and the story and the, like our our whole like Midwest. I mean, I just feel like there's a lot that to be told, and you know, we haven't got the necessary shine. So, what what inspires me or what keeps me going is I want to uh, try to really like put on, you know, not to be in you know, you know, in lamer's term, but I really want to just like you know, really just you know tell the story of the Midwest and just continue that movement because I mean we had a lot of great artists but it just seems like nobody recognizes or give us you know that that deserve props you know yeah. like you know you hear people talk about the east and all the classics they had in the west and all the, in the south but you know people forget you know that we had Twister, Bone Thugs, you know the Brat, you yeah. know what I'm saying we had um, Kyle you know, Kyle Kyle, Kyle. Kyle. yeah you know we just got a lot of great artists you know Eminem and like, they came from the Midwest but it just you know, people kind of grasp them and move them to other coasts. You know, people when it's still, yeah, yeah, when people still consider Nelly to be, you know, the South, but he's Midwest and one of the top selling artists in the game ever. Yeah. You know, uh, Eminem, you know what I'm saying? He's from Detroit and people, people, it's like people put Detroit in their own entity, but it's not, you know, it's not that they don't try to contribute to the Midwest. Yeah. You know, this is all Midwest. And, and, you know, a lot, a lot goes back to um, Drake too, because, yeah. you know, you kind of, you kind of put M in the whole mm -hmm. Dr. Dre yeah. thing that's yeah. way out in the West, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think that kind of like fuels you? Like, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta do something to, you know, just got just got to get my, my people recognized. Yeah. Well, well, like how we, when me and Deuce is what we always say, like, you know, we more, uh, we want to be more like just, rather than just being a group and just, you know, we all want to be big artists, but you know, me and Deuces was to spark something of what you call like a movement. Like, let's say we get something going, we get signed. Cold, and all of a sudden you start seeing 
a spark of interest where the labels are coming to the Midwest. Honestly, oh, yeah. that hasn't happened yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we haven't really had that momentum. Like, when the West Coast, you know, this point in time where it was like nine West Coast dudes who got signed simultaneously. You know what I'm saying? Or then yeah. with the East Coast, you know, we haven't really had that surge in the Midwest yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really, it just really hasn't happened for us. You know what I'm saying? So what me and Deuce is, we, we just kind of, we just kind of take it as, you know, we got to just keep doing what we, what we do if we spark or you know what I'm saying, whatever artists who actually do it, or we involved with another artist who's surgery, like we okay with that, you know what I'm saying? Like we never really been in here just for all about us, even though you know it benefit us too, but you know, we just we really, really would rather build a movement rather just be all yeah, it's just us streets and young dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like we really never kind of people. So yeah. So what what do you feel about um how some artists say I gotta I gotta dumb down my lyrics in order to make a hit song? Do y'all think that that's it's not like mandatory. It's not. You, know, you don't necessarily have to dumb down your lyrics. Um, it's just you gotta, you gotta be creative. I mean, certain things, like I said, it's people's attention span and certain things that trigger people that want to, you know, vibe with your movement or vibe whatever the song. So I mean, you just gotta be versatile, and that's one thing me and Streets work on. Like we we work on where you can't put us in a box. You know, we don't want to be in the box. So, you you know, when you hear us on something, it don't sound odd or it doesn't sound weird. You know, so like, you know, we can make a club record, which is usually what people say they got to dumb down their records on. But it's not that you got to dumb down, you got to be creative. You know, you can't, you can't be super uber lyrical on, you know, club records all the time. Because, you know, a lot of times people don't want to hear it. They want to hear stuff that's going to make them relate to it. Some, something that's going to sound fly or something that's going to sound dope that, you know, say they can emulate or do or, you know, some type of action that they can do. Yeah. But on the other end, you know, you don't want to just always make them type of records because then when you make a lyrical record, people don't want to really listen to that from because all they want to hear is that. So you got, you know, you, you got to just be creative enough to do one thing and do the other thing and still be comfortable in both lanes not or alien, other lanes. And like, not alien, like, Separate separating your fans or just being able to gain fans and keep the fans you already have too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's really what it's honestly what it's really about. You know what I'm saying? Like like Deuce is saying, like being in the box, like we we are comfortable trying almost anything because we know like we study music. We come from music background, so we like we would rather show you that we don't only do this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we okay with being out of our comfort zone, even though we don't feel like we have a comfort zone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So So what what do you think is like the biggest record for you so far? Yeah, gotta flavor. be that Mad Flavor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mad Flavor, that, that record done like crazy things for us. Like, I mean, it started off, you know, we just joined that. Uh, we came up, we had the idea for it. Got, got the beat from uh, Nova, you know, another local producer. And then we just kind of laid it down and then like, it, was just, it just had a, a dope vibe to it. So then we threw it out and, you know, like the first two months that we threw it out, we didn't really get a huge reaction to it. Then, like I said, after a while, it just kept on growing on its own, and you know, uh, knowledge and um, uh, new styles and Infotech and the whole record breaker squad, like they kind of was going in with the record. And then, you know, so by the time that they called us to come do a performance, like I said, we was performing it at Textures, and when we performed it, like as soon as the beat dropped and the hook came, the whole crowd was singing the record. Nice. And so, like that, you know, this is us not even knowing that they was even playing the record. Okay. They just called us, and, you know, and we were trying to take the you know advantage of the opportunity to, to perform. But at that point, I was like, wow, like this record. And then they like, we at that point we hit the road. I mean, we everywhere we performed it at, we always got a, a good response. We performed it, you know, in Cincinnati and Tennessee and Memphis and Atlanta. Like just kept on performing it everywhere, and everybody just gravitated towards the song. And that was probably one of our biggest records. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, so what's next, man? What's next with Streets and Deuce? Uh, well, right now we just we, we getting this mixtape done and like getting the last minute stuff like the features and the mixing done. You know, like me and Deuce, we got a publishing deal. We write, you know what I'm saying. So we of course we want to get our first big placements, of mm -hmm. course. You know what I'm saying. So we like to get that done. Uh, just hitting the road, man. You know, and then after that we got we're gonna do an album. You know what I'm saying? So okay. trying to sign some of these yeah. free mixtapes on the money. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, nice. Yeah, like we we just got we just. We just gonna keep moving, man. Just keep trying to, you know. Every year we try to set a goal for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like where we wanna exceed what we did last year. You know, like honestly, I feel like we know already it's past last year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so this can, this the first two months has been crazy for us this year. We accomplished a whole lot of stuff. So you know, we just you know, like I said, the mixtape that we're working on right now is probably gonna be one of our biggest ones to date. I'm predicting it because I mean, just the people that's around it. Uh, we got RubyHornet.com. That they're um, you know they're sponsoring a mixtape and that's like one of the top blogs and we got some dope dope features like 
you know, we stepped it up. Hell yeah, yeah, who y'all got on the, on the mixtape, man? Nah, you gonna let it out? Might as well let it out now. We got a couple. All right, we got, well, <laughs> we got, we got, we got Mickey Fax on the mixtape. Okay. All right, we got my song on the mixtape. Nice. We got Gerald Walker on the mixtape. Okay. And, you know what I'm saying? And, like, the mixtape is how, you know, mixed by um, the homie DJ Avery Minor. You know, he's out of Chicago, Shea 45 DJ as well. And so, you know, like, it's called Next Day Year. And, like I said, this mixtape, I, like I said, I'm super, super amped up about it because, like, we, we kind of, we, we upped everything. We upped everything as far as like what people are used to hearing from us and a couple of things that people ain't used to hearing from us and like we just like really stepped it up on the lyrical and creative time, you know. So these, these are original beats? Yeah. 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 Nice. So it's kind of like a, a free EP. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I mean, most of our career we've been doing a lot of mixtapes and that's one thing that people, you know, like when we put out like good projects and mixtapes and each of our projects usually have kind of like the theme. It's like a hidden theme, you know. And if you listen to the mixtape, you can possibly get the themes. Like so, you know, like this one is just more of showing how out the box that we are. That's that's what, that was the goal for this mixtape. You know, just more about you know like growth and just showing and, you know giving people uh, fans a more personal side of Streets Young Deuces and just like like I said, really just showing more out of the box that we are. Okay, uh, that's what's up, man. Thank y'all for coming through. Uh, y'all want to leave me leave the crowd with something? Ah, well, you know, like I said. Definitely, uh, like I said, look out for Next Day Air. We're dropping it March 20th. Yes, March 20th is going to be on rubyhornet.com. It's going to be on streetsyoungdeuces.com as well. Um, you know, and we're going to have a new leak for y'all next week. You know, we're working out the kinks, figure out what we're going to leak. But it's going to be one of the songs off the Next Day, one of the nice. good ones. And we're going to leak that. And Treadmill. Yeah, Treadmill video coming soon. Yeah. Definitely, that's coming soon. But, yeah, definitely just, you know, shout out to everybody. Salute to everybody that rock with us, Team SYD. You know what I'm saying? We got much love and support for y'all, and you know, shout out to Hot Sauce for having us here, man. That's what's up, man. Local Artist Spotlight, it's the third edition, and I thank y'all for tuning in. Yes, indeed. That was our interview with uh, Streets of Young Deuces. We're going to shoot to a performance. I like this video here. It's called um, Ill. Check it out. That's my issue, so I pay myself. I don't need no help, but I do need help. Turn your block to metal gear, boy, you gon' need stealth. I be smoking, I be drinking, I don't need good help. I do me, 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 I'm all about self. Have you duct tape tied Why I'm all about wealth. Heard you wanna see a zero, boy, look at yourself. Boy, look at that bet, it's just running like a dope fiend. I be cleaning up some if you don't know what soap me. Who that is? Yeah, ask them who that flow belongs to. Flat screen, you wax screen. Tell them who I'm be on to. Tell them who I'm coming true. Two see the pack two. Heard you had a show tonight. We just came to laugh at you. Ice cold, the boy so anemic. Believe me, Dro said tell y'all to freeze it. Ease it, the keys bit. Think it's time to ride out. Catch me at your nearest mall. Man, I be dug it out. I be looking crispy. You be looking 50. Sick to your stomach. Ask them who run it, huh? You guessed it. Find the nearest exit. Or you begin balling. Get the latte west it. <laughs> yeah, a nigga been tested. And I'm G approved. Y'all niggas are getting Last time I checked, I was the up a man. Midwest General popping rubber bands. I play the black now. I ain't talking about Lego. My jigging used to be in the kitchen whipping them egos. Five thicker frames got me seeing life different. Moving so fast. If you blink, you might miss it. Looking, looking at me like they really want to do something. But real talk, I don't think they going to do nothing. What you got to say, you can't even tell me. Calm down, I'm the issue. I know that you smell me. I've been getting brain bad. This shit's always learning me. I'm from Milwaukee. I used to get it out in Germany. A real street. Again, ain't nobody out here turning me into a fake. Again, on my mama, fam, I earn my G. Being payroll in the back, always burning leaves. Never touch the work, girl, but I let my workers earn for me Always on my grind, it don't take me much to turn the key Re-up, do it again, I, again, I learn the streets Plus I earn my keep, so I'ma be here Midwest General, more just to be clear I'm good in the hood, listen bro, I sleep here Cause I be in the hood and your family don't even be here You don't even see clear, shoulda called clear eyes I hold them up, I'm house up, pillars. Me and Streets, J 
Jason Freddy. Kill us, hard body, put my bones up on the table. Bill us, Fred Flintstone, mini rocks. Wilma, you to get day, you ill, streets of young ill us. Yes, indeed. Local artist spotlight, that is a wrap. And make sure you tune in next week. You never know who we might have in the building, all right? Shout out to Streets and Young Deuces. Be on the lookout for that mixtape. It's going to be fire. Yes, I said fire. <laughs> Local artist spotlight, it's your boy DJ Hot Sauce, V100.7. Holla.